Hi, it's Dr. Eric Ball Cabbage, and we're back for another edition of Thyroid Thursday. And I want to answer a question that I, I get quite often, and that is why do more women have thyroid autoimmunity than men? And we could say, why do more women have any form of autoimmunity than men? And in a recent paper I just read uh, entitled The Environmental Issues in Thyroid Disease, which was published in March 2017 in Frontiers in Endocrinology, uh, they talk about two pri primary mechanisms or two primary reasons why more women may have autoimmune issues, especially autoimmune thyroid conditions, than men. One of those is the difference between male and female immune systems. What they noted is that males have a tendency towards immune suppression. So kind of calming down or tampering down the immune system. So this can lead them to have decreased resilience to infections, so they may more be more susceptible to infections, and it may decrease, therefore, the incidence of autoimmunity. It kind of keeps the immune system in check. They noted that females, have their immune system has a tendency towards immune activation or overactivity. And this could be good because it has a, they tend to have a decreased or an increased resiliency to infection. So maybe they, can, they may get less infectious diseases and less infections, but it also predisposes them to an increased incidence of autoimmunity. Their immune system's hypervigilant. Now this doesn't mean that men can't get autoimmune disorders and, and that and only women can, but it does kind of give you an idea that the immune systems of, of men and women are a little bit different. And the, because the women, the female immune system ha, is more prone towards immune activation, it could make them a bit more susceptible to autoimmunity. The other mechanism that they talked about was this thing called microchimerism. And what does that mean? So essentially what it means is the transfer of cells from one, uh, one person to another. So during the fetal development, the fetus can transfer cells from the fetus to the mother, and they can get incorporated into the mother. And it is thought that this microchimerism can be a trigger of autoimmunity, especially following a pregnancy. Men obviously aren't involved in pregnancy, so this doesn't happen to them. And so for these two reasons, we may see that women have a greater incidence of autoimmunity over men. Now, we typically sometimes see that when, when I see patients in the office, the people that have autoimmunity are often people who say that I rarely ever get sick. I never get sick, I never get sick. They feel tired, they feel fatigued, but they don't get sick a lot. And that is one of the things we see tied in with people with autoimmunity is they're, they rarely ever get sick, but they've got these autoimmune issues going on. And that's this kind of tendency towards immune overactivation or hyperactivation. Okay, so hopefully that helps out. So why do more women have thyroid autoimmunity than men? Probably for, because their, their immune system tends towards more activation, so it's hypervigilant, and possibly um, because of the mic fetal microchimerism associated with pregnancies. Okay, so hopefully that helped out answer a question if that was one of your questions. Uh, I will be talking about more things that I learned in the environmental issues in thyroid disease paper I read, and I'll be talking about those on upcoming Thyroid Thursdays. As always, if you have any questions, you put comments below the video wherever you're watching it, or you can always reach out to me on, on my website, Chronic Condition Recovery Center, or thyroidproblemsdoctor.com. Uh, All right, take care. Look forward to another Thyroid Thursday in the coming weeks. Take care.